Hello. This is my first attempt at this, and I just wanted to share what I feel the Lord has put on my heart. Just join my voices, my voice with everyone else that's um, been saying so many awesome things that the Holy Spirit has been speaking to them. And for me today, the Lord put on my heart Isaiah 46, Psalm 46 and 10. Um, very familiar text. A lot of us may um, know it, but not know where it's found. And basically it's be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. The one version says I will be exalted um, in the nations. And when you read Psalms 46, it really is um, a reminder to the nation of Israel that God is their defense and God is their help. And so we fast forward into the new covenant we as believers we know that god is our help and god is our defense and most definitely all we have to do is look all around us and the nations are heaving the, the nations are um are in an uproar everybody is saying all kind of things everybody's coming against god marriage home family finances i mean the world is in chaos. Um, the nations are raging against God, whether we want to see it or not. They they are raging against God. We're living in a time where people are calling right wrong and wrong right, and we're living in a time that we don't want God. You know, the Bible says that in St. John 14 and 6, Jesus said that I am the way, the truth, and the life, that no man can come to the Father except through me. In Acts chapter 4, verse 12, there's no other name given to us whereby men must be saved in the nations, just fueled by the enemy, which is just the demonic presence is just everywhere, and it's it's fueling us and driving us full speed ahead to be a world that denies God, that we are saying I am my own God and nobody can tell us anything. So the, the, the nations, the, the heathen, they are raging. They are against us. Those of us that are naming the name of God, those of us that are saying that Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life, they are raging against us. I had someone tell me the other day that even in the United States that we are not being persecuted, but that's not true. And it's getting worse. If we just look at, even with this pandemic, I can't shake the feeling that there's a plot afoot. The nations, the heathen are raging. We are plummeting. We are plunging. We are um, steam engine rolling. I don't even know how to say it. Into a time as was discussed in the word of God about the end times and what it's going to be like. If you believe the word of God, if you believe that we're in the last days, you have to ask the Lord, make it clear, show me, open my eyes, help me to see, don't let me be blind, don't let me be deaf. But this word, this Psalm 46 and 10, in the midst of everything that's going on, the social injustice, those of us who are African-American, and not just us, but just the injustice. And we, t we talk about so many of our people that are just getting gunned down like animals and just the anger and the rage and with the politics and just everything and now the pandemic and and people losing their jobs and the hurricanes we keep having and i just read about the the fire that's raging in the florida panhandle all of these things are the things that jesus spoke about 
that he told us to be looking for. But yet, I believe he's saying to all of the blood-bought ones, all those who believe in Jesus Christ, be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted. I will. The earth is going to know who Jesus Christ is. And not even just that, but be still within ourselves. Trusting him. Be still. Be still in your heart. Be still in your soul. Be still and know that I am God. If the, if the coronavirus has affected you in any way, be still and know that I am God. Whatever the situation is, finances, be still and know that I am God. Health, be still and know that I am God. Spiritual attack, be still and know that I am God. Lord, I just pray for your people on this morning. I pray, God, that this word would encourage us to remain sober and to encourage us to stay connected to you, for you are the way, the truth, and the life, regardless of what's going on all around us. Help us to remember that you are God. And we choose to be still and know that you are God. In Jesus' name, amen.